What do you mean by a single face push pull inverter? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome back to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let me ask you guys the obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term single face push pull inverters? Well, let's find out. So, we know that an inverter is a device that converts DC voltage to AC voltage. So, here a push pull inverter is a type of inverter that has got two switches. So, first let us see the circuit diagram of a single phase push pull inverter. So, here first a particular DC voltage like this is supplied over here with plus and minus like this. And this is then connected to a particular capacitor. So, this particular DC voltage is supplied to this particular capacitor and therefore, when this capacitor starts discharging, a pure DC voltage supply can be obtained across this particular capacitor. So, next what we observe here is that a particular primary winding like this is present and where there is a primary winding, there would also be a secondary winding like this. Now, what we observe is that this particular connection is connected to the center of this particular primary winding like this. So therefore, this primary winding is said to be sender tapped. So this connection here is connected to the center of this particular primary winding. Here it would also have a connection like this. So therefore, this is passed to a particular diode like this and then is connected to the primary winding like this. This then is connected to a particular switch like this and this switch is connected over here. So, this is the first switch that we have here. Now, the second switch is obtained from this terminal of this primary winding of this particular transformer. So therefore, this connection hops over here like this and it is connected to a particular switch like this and it is connected over here. And now, along with the switch over here, a particular diode is connected like this. These diodes are present for the conducting of dampening current when an RL load is placed over here. So therefore, this thus is the basic circuit diagram of a single phase push-pull inverter. So what we observe here is that the primary winding and the secondary winding would have opposite polarities. That is, if I am putting the dot over here for this and the dot over here for this, the opposite polarity happens here. So therefore, if this has a dot on the top, then this will have the dot on the bottom. So what that implies is that whatever polarity is there in the primary winding, the opposite polarity would be present in the secondary winding. So, this is the transformer present in this case. So, let this be T1, let this be T2, let this be T1 and let this be D2. So, first let us assume the case in which switch T1 is turned on. So, when switch T1 is turned on, what we observe is that the current starts flowing like this. It starts flowing like this and when it reaches here, it cannot pass through this way because this switch is off. Therefore, what happens is that it starts passing through this particular coil like this and it reaches here, passes through T1 and completes a circuit like this in this particular loop. So, therefore, as a result of this, plus is connected here and therefore, polarity of plus is obtained over here and minus is connected over here. Therefore, polarity of plus minus is obtained over here and therefore, the inverse polarity is obtained here. Therefore, polarity of plus minus would be obtained over here. That is plus V0 would be obtained over here. So, that is the case when we turn on switch T1. Next, let us see the case when we turn on switch T2. So, when switch T2 is turned on, what we observe is that current starts flowing like this and when it reaches here, it cannot pass through here because this is off. So, therefore, when current passes here, it would pass through this particular coil and completes a circuit like this. It flows through this particular circuit like this. So, therefore, plus is connected over here and therefore, plus polarity happens here and minus is connected over here and therefore, minus polarity happens over here. So, because this has a plus minus polarity, the inverse polarity would get induced over here and therefore, polarity of plus minus would get induced over here and therefore a minus V0 is obtained over here. So, this is the basic working of what you refer to as a single phase push-pull inverter as simple as that. So, now let us see the waveforms that are associated with this single phase push-pull inverter. So, let these be the cases when the switches T1 and T2 are on. So, this be T1 and this be T2. This indicates that T1 is on and this indicates that T2 is on and let this again indicate that T1 is on. So, first let us see the value of the output voltage V0. 
So when we plot the value for the output voltage V0, what we observed was that when T1 was on, a positive value of voltage V0 was obtained. That is, when T1 was on, current started flowing like this. And therefore, plus is connected over here like this and minus is connected over here like this. Therefore, a polarity of plus minus gets induced over here and therefore, we get a voltage of plus V0 and therefore, a positive voltage V0 is obtained over here. Next, let us see the case when T2 is on. So, when T2 was turned on, what we saw was that current starts flowing like this. It flows through here and it completes a circuit like this. So therefore, as it completes a circuit like this, what we saw was that plus was connected over here and therefore here it will have a plus polarity, but minus was connected over here. Therefore, plus minus polarity is obtained over here and therefore the inverse of this polarity gets induced over here and therefore this becomes plus and this becomes minus and therefore voltage of minus V0 is obtained at the output and therefore the output voltage becomes here like this. Again, when switch T1 is turned on, we obtain a positive voltage like this. And again, when switch T2 is turned on, we get a negative voltage like this. So this is the output waveform for the output voltage of this particular single phase push-pull inverter. Next, what we observe is that if a particular RL load is taken in this case, then the output current would be obtained like this. So this is the value for the output current in the case of a single phase push-pull inverter if the load is taken as an RL load. So here what we observe is that in this particular portion, the voltage is positive but the current is negative. That is, the voltage is positive but the current is negative and therefore D1 is activated in this particular region. Current flows through diode D1. That is the significance of the diode D1 over here. It helps in conducting the dampening current over here because of the discharging effect of the inductors that are present inside the load. Next, here the voltage is positive and the current is positive and therefore the current passes through the switch T1. Next, what we observe is that the voltage is negative but the current is positive in this particular region. That is, the voltage is negative but the current is positive and therefore the current passes through diode D2. And next what we observe is that when the voltage is negative, the current is negative and therefore this happens because the current flows through the switch. T2 and therefore the same thing repeats again and again and again. So these thus are the basic waveforms in the case of a single phase push-pull inverter. As simple as that. So this thus sums up what you refer to as a single phase push-pull inverter. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a single phase push-pull inverter and we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, until next time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.